In the animal world, males have evolved a huge variety of strategies to attract the ladies. Some sing, others dance. Some are handsome, and some just throw their enormous weight around. And it's all about making babies. But what about male dolphins? Well, one particular group here in Port Stephens has come up with a strategy that's a real winner. Port Stephens is home to about 120 Indo-Pacific bottlenose dolphins. Like many dolphin species, most of the males form alliances to pursue and secure females. Researcher Joe Vishnevsky has spent the past few years untangling their complicated love lives. We knew that males in Port Stephens do form alliances. What we didn't know though was how long these alliances last for here in Port Stephens and how successful um, the strategy of forming an alliance is. And by success, she means babies. One of these alliances is almost as famous as the band they're named after. Do we know who these dolphins are, do you think, Joe? Yes, yeah, so they're here are the Beatles, so we can definitely see uh, Ringo and Paul here. Wow, it's the Beatles. The Beatles. I haven't seen all four yet, but uh, we've got a mum and calf here as well that the Beatles seem to be swimming with. The male alliance will try to um, get a female away from her group of female dolphins and take her away, and they'll herd her um, for up to a few weeks at a time and try to mate with her. As you can see, the female doesn't look too bothered by it. She's not really too stressed. So when there's stress, there's a lot of action. There's... Yeah. Right. Well, they definitely look calm, don't they? Yeah, exactly. They're not bothered at all. Dolphin alliances of two or three are fairly common. But like their namesakes, the beetles are something quite special. The beetles are the only four male alliance that we know of in any dolphin species and in any population around the world. Do you think the other two might be nearby? Yeah, they're most likely pretty close um, by. They might be with another female, like uh, Ringo and Paula. Ah, maybe they've found Yoko. <laughs> Could be the end of the beetles in Port Stephens. Uh-oh. Here's Hello. Paul. Oh, Paul! Wow. He's right under us. We um, identify the dolphins based on their markings on their dorsal fins. So about 80% of the dolphins have unique markings and we can um, identify them when they come up to the surface to breathe. Here they are. Joe's research began as a paparazzi, taking thousands of photos of dorsal fins. When I went out to the field, I would take photos of the dolphins and see which dolphins were in which group together. Over time, we could then see which individuals prefer to hang out with each other. But to find out which particular alliance were the most successful fathers, she needed skin samples. And from these, they then extracted DNA. Most of the time we know who the mum of the calf is because the calf is always swimming quite close to the mum. However, we don't know who the father is. We got approximately 90 samples from the dolphins out of the 120 individuals that live here. And this took months and months of work in the lab to do all the genetic analysis. And what she's found is the size of the alliance matters. Well, we found that the bigger the alliance, the more successful those males were at reproducing. Right. And that's what you can see here in the graph. And if you follow this, um, this trend line, you can see that the bigger the alliance is, the more calves those males side. Yeah, right. And is there any particular alliance that did really well? Yes, the beetles were by far the most successful males in the population. Ah, there they are, those beetles again. There are 40 males here in the population, and the fact that the beetles side by far the most calves was really quite surprising, and we didn't expect that. They side 13 out of the 32 calves, which is quite impressive. That means 10% of the males side almost 50% of the calves. Very impressive indeed. Why do you think not more male dolphins get together in such a big group? Well, we believe that alliance formation is a really complex process. A lot, it involves a lot of cooperation and tolerance um, of the males. And so, yeah, we just don't think that some males have found their op optimal alliance partner. Right, it's really hard to stay friends the more you have. Well, look at the original beetles. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dolphin relationships, it seems, are just as tricky as ours. 
But thanks to their DNA, we now know they too get by with a little help from their friends. 